Well, let's go to Istanbul now and speak with Ton Bemstabor. He's the Turkey correspondent for the Dutch paper NRC Handelsblad. And Ton, let me ask you, how serious is this for the Turkish government to pressure the Saudis in order to find out what happened to this Saudi journalist? This, of course, is, is very serious for the Turkish authorities. I mean, uh, Jamal uh, Khashoggi was a prominent uh, journalist, and they want to know what happened on their on, on their soil. Uh, but uh, Erdogan's comments are, are in stark contrast uh, to what uh, Turkish officials have told the international press. Uh, some of them have done it anonymously, but, well, they, they, they basically sketch a, a, a murder scene and and Erdogan is more careful he, he chooses his words more diplomatically and he says that he has to wait until the outcome of the police investigations before he draws any conclusions and that is of course because the the relationship with Saudi Arabia is very sensitive for Turkey especially in a time when Turkey is in in in, in an economic crisis and it could not lose another uh, country that uh, that has a lot of money uh, exactly on that point, as you, as you mentioned, a lot of times these sensitive diplomatic relations can impact an investigation like this. How far do you think Turkey or Erdogan in particular is prepared to go uh, if Khashoggi is not found? Well, I mean, it, it's it's inter interesting in this regard that you know over the weekend several uh, uh, people uh, uh, spoke to the international press. Uh, that, that are close to to the Turkish government and Turkey uh, to the Turkish president. Uh, one of his advisors said that he was convinced that that Khashoggi was killed, and that there was that that there was uh, uh, evidence for it. So, uh, in a way, Turkey put up the pressure to to Saudi Arabia, Saudi Arabia by by putting out these statements while while doing it not totally officially so it could be that there's behind the scenes contact and that they will find some kind of way to to get out of this but i i think the turks take this very seriously uh, are there Saudis? Give us a sense about is, if there are a Saudi community there in Turkey, which, uh, for example, takes this kind of dissident position that we saw that this man, this journalist took. Yes, of course, there are some some Saudi. I don't think uh, Saudi Saudi dissidents here. I don't think the community is that big. But but keep in mind that there is a large uh, part of the Muslim Brotherhood that 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 uh, is in exile here after uh, the coup in Turkey. And of course, Saudi Arabia is very opposed against uh, to the Muslim Brotherhood. And 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 Turkey under Erdogan is supporting the Muslim Brotherhood. So that creates a lot of resentment. Um, and these people can be. Saudis can be Egyptians, can be of, uh, uh, from other parts of the Arab world. Ton, uh, briefly, given Turkey's own uh, reputation for treating journalists and, and the free press, is there a concern, a concern, should there be, that this isn't exactly the government that uh, we can count on to hold Saudi Arabia to account? Well, I don't think it's necessarily for Turkey. It's for Turkey, it's, it's about uh, two things, I guess. Um, it, it's not so necessarily about freedom of press and 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 protecting uh, a well-known uh, opposition journalist. Uh, it's it's more about what's happening on their soil and 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 could could there could there be a murder under their eyes uh, on on Turkish soil that would be uh, uh, that would be uh, uh, yeah that would hit the Turks in in, in their pride and 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 uh, yeah that that would not uh, Turkey would not take this lightly.